All right, so I wanted to take some time to teach you some of the language that you're going to hear in your Zern lessons and make sure you understand what that means before you get started on those lessons. So the first thing you're going to notice that might be a little interesting is whenever you're doing carryovers in Zern. So, for example, here's this problem. Okay, so I have 46,387 plus 23,204. So there's a couple of things you need to know. Okay, first, in Zern, instead of saying carry over, they say bundle. Okay, so 7 plus 4 is 11, and we're bundling over to the tens place. We're taking a bundle because we have 11 ones, and that's not going to work, so we're bundling a 10 and moving it over here. Okay, so that they're calling that a bundle. Okay, the next thing that you're going to see that might be weird is there, instead of putting the carryover up here like you've been taught, they put it down here. And they'll have like a little box right underneath. So like right here, they'll have like a little box and you're expected to put the one there. So your carryovers or your bundles, they're going to call them bundles, your bundles are going to be down here. It's the same thing. I, they don't explain why they choose to do it this way. However, that's how they do it. And it means the exact same thing. Okay, so then I'd have five, six plus three is nine, four plus two is six. Okay, so I moved my bundle over. Okay, so this is a bundle. So bundle equals carryover. Okay, that's what you need to know for that. All right, so this is called the algorithm, the additional addition algorithm. Basically what that means is doing it this way, okay? When they say an algorithm or traditional algorithm, they mean doing it this way. Stacking the numbers like you've been taught. You might not know that word, so this is the algorithm, okay? They're gonna do the same thing for subtraction. So whenever they have like 42,000, 382, take away 31,271. So this would be the algorithm, okay? That's what you need to know. These are algorithms. So you'll hear those words. Okay, the next thing I want to point out is the word variable. And they bring this word up pretty um, early in the lessons. So a variable they define a variable as a letter representing an unknown. So this is a letter representing an unknown. So you're going to see variables in a lot of the problems on Zern, and a lot of them are based with word problems. So here's what you're going to see. So, for example, you'll see 36 plus A equals 38. What is A? Well, we can do 38 take away 36 gives us 2, so A equals 2, okay? So, A will a or another letter will be used to represent uh, unknowns. So, you might also see things like this. So they're going to start talking about things like tape diagrams, and you're really going to want to pay attention to those because they're going to ask you, they're going to like give you a tape diagram and it's going to be blank, and then they're going to have all the things down here, and they're going to ask you to label the tape diagram pr properly. So you really, really need to pay attention to the tape diagrams and how they make them. Um, they are good strategies because you can draw a tape diagram on any piece of paper and use it to help you solve a problem. So it is a useful strategy to learn and I encourage you to use the tape diagrams whenever they ask you to because they are a useful skill. And they'll talk more about 